Hello guys, Rob here. Right now is the time to rent EOS from Rex if you need CPU. We just had some big loans expire, which brought a big drop in the amount of lent EOS, which means cheap prices for renting EOS on Rex right now. Currently, one EOS will get you over 3,700 EOS worth of resources for 30 days. So just 0.1 EOS, 10% of that will get you over 370 EOS worth of resources for 30 days. Taking a look at one of my accounts here, this account has 113.15 plus 0.5 stakes, so just over 113.5 EOS staked in CPU, and that's getting 10.58 milliseconds worth of CPU time per day. So this amount of EOS stake in CPU can be had right now on Rex for around a purchase of 0.03 EOS worth of CPU in Rex will get you around that 100-ish, 100 plus, it's actually slightly more than this, but for around 13 cents you can get over 100 EOS staked in CPU which would give you over 10 milliseconds per day of CPU time which equates anywhere depending on how resource intensive the transaction you're trying to send is anywhere from a couple transactions a day if you're sending transactions that are very CPU intensive to 40 transactions a day if you're doing stuff that is less intensive and this will be even greater once EOS 2.0 is here so right now there should be no reason for anyone to complain about CPU if you don't have CPU for 12 13 cents worth of CPU you can send 5 to 40 transactions per day per day so for the cost of one ethereum transaction you can get 5 to 40 EOS transactions per day so 5 to 40 times 30, because it's a 30-day loan. Now, through the last cycle of these big loans that just expired, we were in the 90% threshold instead of 80%. And every time I needed to buy Rex, I could. So I do not believe there was a time when Rex was frozen. So that change definitely helped out a lot, moving that threshold from 80% to 90%. I do not believe Rex was ever frozen. But if you do need CPU resources, now is the time. Before these loans expired, these loans we just saw expire right here. That happened on the 29th and the 30th. We had some big loans expiring. But before those expired, one EOS could get you in that 500 range. So you're looking at six to seven times the amount of EOS resources you can get in Rex right now for the same price you would have just paid a couple days ago six to seven x the amount so if you need resources now's the time to do it while these loans have freshly expired the amount of available recs that can be lent is quite high with 68 million total eos and recs there is 30 million available at the current time and you can see right here you're getting almost 600 percent the amount of resources you previously could have just a couple days ago and the thing is, with these mining coins now, if at the end of the day you haven't used up all your transactions, if you haven't used up all your CPU, you can go mine a couple coins and make some of those EOS back, or even turn a profit at the end of the month, based on how profitable the mining coins are right now. So there really should be no reason for anyone to complain about CPU. Just going back to the changes on Rex, we saw the impact of, of one of the two major changes we saw with the 80% threshold going up to 90%. Rex was never locked. The other change was the dripping of the profits. So in that time the loans expired, we also had people buying up Rex as well. Over the last two days, first there was 12 million EOS worth of Rex borrowed and another 12 million worth of EOS borrowed. So the profits from these two are now being dripped out over a 30-day period. So instead of all the profits hitting yesterday and the day before, which led to the double-edged sword effect of after those profits hit, some people wanted to pull out and take those profits. So the amount of use in Rex dropped. Now those are dripped out over 30 days, which leads to a flattening, a flattening of the Rex value. 
So this is an indication of those profits being dripped out over that 30 day period instead of seeing a big spike up and then flat while not as many EOS are being lent out. And then when another big loan comes and another big spike up, it's now dripped out over a 30 day period. So we'll start to see the effects of that as well and see if more EOS start to be added. But there's nothing to complain about right now. One EOS getting you 3,700 EOS worth of resources for 30 days. 10% of that, 0.1 EOS, over 370 EOS. And even a third of that 10%, just 0.03 EOS or about 12, 13 cents worth of EOS can get you over 100 EOS stake for 30 days. Speaking of Rex, Telos Rex is currently paying out over 17% returns while running at 0% inflation thanks to the Telos Economic Development Plan using the TLOS tokens that were never claimed by exchanges for their users to pay for inflation costs and supply an extra 1 million TLOS per month to Rex stakers. Check out the link in the description to this page to get your free Telos account if you don't have one yet and also learn how to stake your Telos into Rex using both Squirrel Wallet and Scatter. This message on Telos is brought to you with the support of the Telos community via the worker proposal system. That's it for me for this one, guys.